Hello everyone, it's Marilyn Rivera here with a mixed media layout for 49th and Market. I'm using today this beautiful mini collection. It is the Vintage Artistry Color Coral. It has four pattern paper plus one additional paper that is this one here and two laser cut sheets. Let me show you, look how pretty. It is the paper that I'm going to use in my layout today. And look how beautiful this page is. And the backs of each paper is beautiful too. I just love everyone. <clears throat> look, let me show you this part here. I, I don't know, I love this paper so much with these bubbles. Look the back, so pretty. And it is one of the laser cut that I'm going to use many of these beautiful butterflies and leaves in my page. And look this other. It is so gorgeous, beautiful. Let's get started. Okay, this is the paper that I'm going to use. I want to place the photo here and use this line to create a design and a texture. But let me show you the natural stitch frame that I am going to use to frame this lovely photo. But first, I need to prepare my paper because I'm going to uh, do mixed media. So I am apply a small amount of clear gesso and with the spot tool I cover all the paper. And once I cover all the paper, I'm going to use my heat tool and dry this <clears throat> this paper and the, now I have a surface I cover all the paper and ready for mixed media here is when I put um, a cutting mat behind the paper because I want to create a design with the same uh, paper pattern so I, I am taking a ruler with my craft knife and I'm going to make cuts through all this line. I am trying to cut a little uh, behind the line in the paper because I want that to show the, that line. And this paper is very strong, so you need to cut with a heavy uh, knife in for this paper. Or do it twice. It works too. And now I will do the same in each of these lines in the paper because I want to distress all these edges and give texture and interest uh, on the background but let me tell you that this paper is gorgeous it looks beautiful if you let it the paper as it is but in my case I, I, I don't know I, I always love to play with the paper and see what I can create with the same design and here are uh, oh I, I forgot this one and now I have all the slits ready. You can see here how it will look nice. <clears throat> but before I give this, this dress, I want to add textures on my background. So I'm going to use modeling paste and this stencil to give texture. But I want that the paste, uh, I want to give color to this uh, paste. So I will prepare that with, I'm going to use the memory hardware's uh, powder and I'm going to place a little of the modeling paste over the mat and use this uh, pow uh, powder that is uh, it's actually a color paint <clears throat> but uh, you can use this uh, powder with different mediums to give the colors in this case I am mixing with modeling paste and my paste will take like a coral but you will see what happens once it's dry now i take my uh, spatula and i'm adding in some spot of some area around uh around the frame or around or in the area that the frame will be later i don't want to cover the, the paper because this paper is is gorgeous i just love all the details and the design so i'm trying to place this in a specific area on the background I'm not cover the flowers and don't want to cover uh, the transitions in between one effect and the other. Just put in some spot here and <clears throat> in the white area and that's it. That is the only uh, texture that I'm going to add. Now I'm going to dry all these textures and meanwhile I want to frame my photo and I'm, I'm using the Tombow uh, adhesive 
because it's dry very fast and it's an excellent adhesive for this and once I adhere the frame I will add a piece of cardboard on the background just to add dimension in the photo and you can see here how it looks so far so now I take my scissor and I'm going to distress all, all the slits with the uh, scissor but at the end I change to this tool that is from close to my heart and it's easier to distress all the edges and I'm is faster for me so I'm going to do this in every inch of the slit and one thing that I <laughs> that I noticed once the this powder is the is dry I don't like the color it looks more um, like brown than coral so I need I need to resolve this so I take a sponge with white gesso and I'm dabbing the sponge over all the stencil work in that way I s give this softness to the color with the gesso and <clears throat> also I add the same texture that the paper has on the background if you notice the paper has like a white uh, paint splatters on the background so I, I I'm don't be uh, I'm not afraid that they look like a spot white spot on the background but in that way I can cover all the texture and I think that they look better now what do you think <laughs> now I decided to add more of this texture on the background so I took I take the sponge and I'm dabbing and once you apply the gesso with the sponge and dabbing you will see that you, it's great like a textures on the background so I uh, at the end it look very whitish but I love it how it looks now I decided that I'm going to uh, <clears throat> to give dimension uh, to some of the slit, not to everyone. So I am turning, I put 3D foam tape to one of the slits to the piece and the other one I left without a uh, 3D foam tape and then I alter to the next one as you see here. In that way I will, I will have one slit uh, that pop out of the paper and the other that is adhesive to this white cardstock that I am adding a uh, glue now I will uh, add <coughs> adhere the pattern paper to this piece of white cardstock because I want that through the slit you can see the white I, I was thinking uh, at the beginning to put uh, like a peach color on the background behind the slits but not because uh, when I see if you see the photo the the baby is uh, the background behind the baby is very white so I will try to bring this to the background too so I add a uh, liquid adhesive to the areas that doesn't have the 3d foam tape and it is how it will look now I take the different flowers that I'm going to use I will let you the list of all these supplies in the blog. You can check 49th of Market blog. I will let you the link down below in the description box. Uh, and you can uh, find all these uh, material products that I'm using. This, this lovely tag that you see here, I'm adding 3D foam tape of the back because I want to create dimension with it. And I, I am also distressing all the borders with vintage photo and adding a piece of white cord here to give uh, this lovely look and I will continue uh, making my composition here with the different flowers and also going to use the laser cuts and I let you with music and I come back soon <laughs>
okay now it's time to add here everything and I did it but now I'm I want to add a piece of the trim lace here and I'm using the tombow to adhere it between you can see here how everything looks so far you can see the butterflies the flowers now I'm going to add the photo and put it here and it's time now to uh, to see what once I place the photo I, I know exactly what else I want and I decided that I want to add color with these beads glass beads but first and gloss but first I, I decided to add some depth and I'm using this stamp to stamp randomly uh, behind all these uh, flower uh, embellishment here and I'm trying to give like a, a little of depth with the black ink here just put on behind the, the cheesecloth on between the flowers just a little not, not too much and now with I took a just gloss 3d gloss gel and I'm adding some glass bead here this glass bead has the same color of some of the flowers so it will give me the that is the reason that I'm not using in, for this page today paint uh, I'm trying to give the color with the glass beads so I'm, I'm going to put uh, enough of this glass bead I am showing you uh, a piece of the time but you can see and check all the photos that are in the blog to see all the details I put the glass bead around all the, the work and now I am adding some art stones but these art stones I put them behind or over the lace over the flowers I am trying to make layers with the different beads here and we and with the art stones and I adhere the art stone also with the glass uh, with the 3d gloss gel now I'm adding some pearls, you know that I love pearls and I think that it gives this feminine, feminine touch to the page and other pieces that I love so much are the uh, bubble, the wishing bubbles and I'm using this one that are uh, very soft the color, the, the, like a light pinch, peach and I'm using the small, the tiny ones here in the, in the in the bottom part and adding uh, tiny pieces around all this area I, I for this page I use a lot of the bubble wishes or wishing bubbles I always change I don't know why I changed the, the, the name here's when I cover the photo and adding white paint splatter I think that it gives this lovely effect on the background very chubby chic and now that I have everything on place is that I decided to add the tiny flowers. I just love these flowers. They give this lovely effect and are so pretty. And I place one here. Let me cut one here in between the butterflies. Look how cute they are. And place between the clock and the flowers. They are so lovely now I am adding the tiny ones here on on the bottom part of the layout and now at the end I took a, a craft sponge very small with gesso and I apply a toshes of gesso over the flowers and to I don't know to soft all the the area here and to create this chubby chic look on my page and it looks more soft all, and you can see here the final result look the dimensions all the flowers how it looks the slits I just love how it turns out so pretty love it and I will let you know with the photos that I took outside and you can see better the color here and well this is my video tutorial for today i hope that you it inspired you if you like it give me a thumbs up and i see you soon with other video tutorial now bye bye